Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's the most important, bottom line, critical thing happening on this planet. Today on This Is Important? Radio silence since he took four duffel bags full of weed home. Texas had me scared when I was smoking weed. It's like I slept upside down in my closet, but I slept. His dick in that Chucky costume. Come on, we're all thinking it. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> Woo! Smack it, we back we're it. We're back. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, all right, Beezer. Damn, it's so loud. Wow. Wow. Damn, those those come in hot. They come in. See, Blake, this is what I th- I was hoping was going to happen, that you fully <laughs> revamped the soundboard. Oh, you, yeah. You retired a bunch of old soundboard clips mm-hmm. because they are from the tour. We're, we're back in our respective, looks like, it looks like a closet. closet. A I'm, I'm in a closet. An office where we don't hang stuff. <laughs> I'm in my boy cave. Yeah, is in his little boy cave. And then I have curtains behind me, and you got a nice piece of artwork hanging yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you put some art up, Blake. It looks good, dude. Yeah, I finally have had some time to be in my house, and I, I hung two things. So, wow. And one of Big, them is Now, will you me. describe that to the listeners, please? What are we looking at behind you? Um, This is some art by my friend Skinner. It's a lot of um monsters from the Dungeons & Dragons Monster Manual, so it is a oh. lot of fun. It's Oh, that's a lot of fun. And, and you like that. Yeah, I you know I just freaking smoke weed and stare at it for freaking hours, dude. And monsters, dude. We love Skinner. We love Skinner. Shout out, baby. We love him. We love him. Oakland's finest. So, did you retire some of the soundboard that we'll never hear them again? Is that what you're trying to say, Beezer? Diarrhea. No, no. Oh, they're still they're still there. What is this? What is this narrative? What is this narrative you're pushing, Adam? What's going on? Well, yeah, see, I think an th- exciting thing for the podcast would be like, you know, we're back. We're doing uh, we're back. Totally different. We're back. It's going to be totally different. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are we still part of it or is it just you? I think I think it'd be I think it'd be fun. <laughs> are you my gonna, own podcast. What, what are these ideas that come out on air? Like expectations? <laughs> what's going on here? Uh, yeah. It, <laughs> well, here's what here's my here's my pitch. Here's my pitch. Okay, I like this. We make a big I... deal about retiring certain things from the podcast. Okay. We do a whole including <laughs> including people. <laughs> All right, fine. I get it. I'm out. A whole 20 minutes on retiring uh whatever one that we decide or maybe a handful right. that we decide. We're retiring these. We're no longer going to do the cause of diarrhea or oh. whatever we choose. <laughs> I don't know if that's the one or not. And are we doing like a Sarah McLaughlin I will remember you moment to these? Oh, that would be cool. I believe so. I believe we have to. Wow. Well, I'm, well yeah. just you guys, uh, the fans, go ahead and uh, send in your votes for what gets the chop. Wait, the fans yeah, get to decide or do we yeah. get to decide? I well, feel like I th- we should decide this first. Uh, everybody. Well, here's Kyle. Here's what we do. The fans. What? I, I'd let fans decide everything in my life. Yeah. The fans decide the fans decide no 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 we do this for us that's why my kids are named baskin robbins <laughs> As a collector. You never had it so good. Z, my son zio's pizza yeah uh no i feel we let the fans decide and then when we don't like what the fans decide we just do whatever we want to do but what we want yeah. yeah we lean in hard yeah, yeah. oh so they yeah. do the that's cool that's democracy yeah right that's, you know yeah they like they do the leg work and then we have the veto power veto mm-hmm. power yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah okay yeah. i'm yeah. in on that well, yeah cool. right. you know and then it'll be of the of, a very special episode of yeah. This Is Important. Yeah. Sick. Okay. Um, well, because I, cause I reached out to Blazer uh, oh, just mm-hmm. a few days ago about mm-hmm. the soundboard, and I was like, I think we got to make some room because oh. the Cat Williams interview. Oh, oh. man. Yeah, oh. yeah. Let's. Oh, okay. We're back to some topical stuff. I, I, I'm, 
I'm like, is our entire podcast now just going to be sound yeah. bites from, from that? Cat Williams. That's a tough one to pull from because it's three hours of gold to mine. Dude, I have not seen the whole thing. I'm trying to, but it's it's really long. Well, yeah. by the way, you do not have to watch. It's so long. Yeah. Very long. It's way too long. I watched like 30 yeah. minutes of it and was like. I fell asleep on Friday listening to that shit. I just. Give me the heavy hitters. I just want to see. Yeah, there's highlights on YouTube. Yeah, just the highlights is one. I do feel like. Shut the fuck up! I feel like when I watch the highlights, though, it's pretty much the first 30 minutes. Like, he came out fucking hot and did all the dirty. Swing, and he, he had a fucking hit list ready to go. Right. He had an agenda. Yeah. 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 And then what? Like, the the last two hours are just recipes that he it recommends? Uh, yeah, It's just him going, uh. Well, that I don't know. Yeah. I have it. He tells <laughs> yeah. fans how to make snickerdoodles. I make a macaroni cheese that Cedric the Entertainer can't fuck with. And you're like, oh, that's not as interesting. D.L. As... Hughley can't fuck with my, yeah. <laughs> with my B. Stroganoff. <laughs> Bitch, you don't think I can make ramen? <laughs> Ricky Smiley can't cook because Ricky Smiley can't cook. Guy Tori can't cuss, can't touch my jambalaya, bitch. I got a pizza, tuna pizza. casserole. <laughs> But Cat is fucking cool, right? I can say it, right? Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's the. Uh, I think Kevin Hart had the best like comeback. He was like, "What was it?" It, it was. He said essentially, he was like, "You're the a legend. You're fantastic. You had it all. You can't blame anyone else for you falling off, except for yourself. Ooh. You didn't do the press stuff. You didn't show up. Mm. You weren't there. Oops. Yeah, he's too cool. That's Cat's problem. He's too cool, yeah. man." He was just too cool. He didn't show up to the th thing. And when you don't show up to the thing, they don't want to hire you the next time. Right. Right. That being said, fucking disaster, my guy. <laughs> 10 years after he's fallen off, he can release a pretty dope podcast that we're all excited about. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I do think it's an interesting. Um, I do think it's an interesting kind of like. Uh, what's the word here? Just like looking at the way things pan out. So it's like, yeah, if you're Kevin Hart, you're a super nice guy. You say yes to a lot of things. You show up and you you do the the things outside of what we can call stand up or the art, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and Cat is like, I'm not really interested in that bullshit. That's not what I'm doing. I'm here to make stand up, do art. Make people laugh and and be well, the best at that, right? And fight fourteen year olds. And so, what's what's more, what's better, what's cooler? Being Kevin Hart and having a thousand watches and being a that's pretty cool. Decent, yeah. sure. That's how it's is. yeah, it's cool. They well, it's subjective. This is subjective. Yeah, but no one's gonna remember your watches, player. <laughs> Goodbye. Right. Watches They're gonna remember that. that one dope interview you gave. <laughs> like, I'll I'll say this. Does Kevin? Does here's here's what I'll say. Does Kevin Hart ever want? Cat Williams to open up for him. I'm sure Cat Williams would let anybody open up for him because Cat knows Cat's gonna be scratching. After. <laughs> but do you know what I'm saying? Like what, what? the claws come out. I, I don't think he's angry. I think he's just kind of like let's just let's just set the table here and remind everybody that like he's it's so because man. the emphasis on on this business now is on the watches. Is on like yeah yeah yeah. yeah. But it's. I don't think it was. Uh, I don't, he didn't mention watches, from what I remember. But uh, it was, I think <laughs> I, I. I'm saying like the signifiers of making it, the signifiers of success. Sure. We got it. We have it really twisted right now. Well, if there's a level of professionalism that I think Cat just does not have. Like he straight up wouldn't show up to stand up gigs. He straight up wouldn't show up when he's shooting wouldn't show up on set and they're like looking for him like you have to if you sign up for a job but he's saying he he's saying that wasn't true right you have Didn't... to do the job but why is yeah. he i'm not de i'm not denying that but i think what he's what i'm what i'm stressing and then when there's press stuff you have to go do the press stuff right but what i'm stressing is i would argue he's more professional about the one thing he cares about which is the creation itself like doing the stand up like He's but, putting in the legwork and making it happen. Whereas you watch some other stand specials and you're like, this doesn't seem super tight. Right. Yeah, but he's not. But then they go and do all the PR work and then it becomes huge. You know what I mean? Because they push it. They push. Right. Because they've done the legwork. So their their commitment to the craft is committing to the PR instead of just, no, 
it, and I'm not arguing either way, by the way. I'm just kind of like, this is fascinating to me to have him be like. I also haven't watched a Cat Williams new special. Has he released a new special in a while? I mean, I just watched that one in Florida where he just went for 20 minutes on the weather and I was <laughs> rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he's very, very funny. Dude, he's so funny. I mean, he's he is wildly funny. <laughs> he's, he's so good. Yeah. He's amazingly funny. I mean, I told you guys about the time when I did New Faces in Montreal, which is like a big, they invite the 20 new comics yeah. from around the world and call them the New Faces of Comedy, right. blah, blah, blah. And they, so I was at, invited and I performed my set. And then afterwards, the same crowd sat around for the masters and it, and Cat Williams was going to be one of the masters. Mm -hmm. strange, strange, strange word. Go ahead. And as we're, we're like going and we're sitting in the back waiting to watch the show. And uh, we had just gotten done, and it's pretty exciting, you know, because we just uh, did our sets. And all of a sudden, these women come through that are basically wearing lingerie. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming prostitutes, and they come through. Oh, mm. they weren't stand-ups. <laughs> no, they weren't, they weren't local stand-ups. <laughs> they they weren't masters. Yeah, no, it was Amy Schumer. <laughs> they come through. They were they were mat they were they were masters though, right? They were masters. <laughs> it was Amy Schumer. <laughs> They were masters of something, and they go, ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. Cat Williams is in the building. Mm -hmm. And they okay. walk through the whole audience just being like, take your seats. Mm -hmm. Cat Williams has arrived. How awesome is that? <laughs> this is the professionalism I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, sounds That's like the... The woman from Carmen San Diego. This was 06. I feel like he had it all together in 06, and then something, something slid after that. Better late than never. But that is so dope. That's like that. Yeah, yeah I think he realized I don't want to play the game of like having to do all the press and that kind of stuff. I don't think he's cut out for it. Sorry, Kyle. No, no. I was just saying the same thing, basically, that that's like going above and beyond for the craft of that show that he's doing where he's being recognized as a master for what he wants to do. He doesn't give a fuck about he's a master of promoting. That's just uh, he doesn't care. No. You know who he reminded me of? Well, I mean, that sounds like he promoted pretty well if he has strippers going through telling you to take your seats. Well, yeah, it seems like he was doing pretty well of that of for that. I, I mean, you're right. Maybe you should talk to Cat, Blake. Maybe you should bend this a little bit. Dude, <laughs> maybe you should. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> I'm the one who told him to go to Club Shay Shay. He listened to me. I do love if 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 Blake just walked up and said one sentence to Cat, I envision him looking at you for just a moment to let you know that was not okay to approach him and then walking away. <laughs> Shut um, the fuck up! But the vibe I get from Cat is like, to me, he reminds me of Paul Mooney, who, again, yeah. just every sentence he says is like the funniest thing I've ever heard. Right. Yeah, I think he's a pretty prolific guy, but I think Adam's thinking Kyle Mooney. <laughs> Which also very funny. <laughs> also very funny. Yeah, also very funny. <laughs> also, also super funny, dude, bro. Dude, arguably kind of the same comic, Cat and Kyle Mooney. <laughs> but kind of the same, like, yeah, kind of the same vibe, same length hair. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just think that, uh, you know, Cat likes to have a mystique and be mysterious. And I yeah, do also think right. he has the comedy to, to, to back it up. But yeah, he's a bit of a. And he's a private guy. Like, you don't, people. He's an odd duck. You don't know. People don't know that he had all these adopted kids and stuff. But he yeah. does. And you're like, yeah. what? And they, like, took him away and shit. Who did? I mean, even. The government. Oh, damn. <laughs> no, Kevin Hart. That's why he's pissed. <laughs> See, I don't know about I don't know about all the all the I feel like here I'm trying to read about that right now. <laughs> I feel like he was trying to say that all that shit was fucking bullshit. And December 28th, 2012 was arrested on child endangerment charges. He was okay. held in lieu of $100,000 bail and his four of his adopted ch children were placed in protective custody. Oh shit. This is this uh, is on uh, this is on Cedric the Entertainer's website. What? I don't <laughs> Yeah, I just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> yeah, DL Hughley's putting this shit out. Oh my no, God. this is uh, on the wiki, on his wiki. Yeah, I, I read all this stuff the other day. He's he's a, a very troubled guy. He also like a lot of lot of drama. Had this huge show in Oakland, and then just like didn't show up, and he sold like twenty thousand tickets in in like two thousand what 
eight or something. Yeah, again, he's not good at promoting. <laughs> yeah, he's back. So we're away, man. <laughs> but when he's on stage, it's professional, Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, the I, like obviously. Well, that's what that's what I'm talking about. And he he also like got in a fight with a heckler and then just walked off stage and didn't come back. And the audience is like, there's like thousands of people that are like, well, just kick the heckler out. You could still perform. Right. Yeah. So it's that those things that I think. I feel like that's a stance. I feel like that's a stance I would take, too. I'd be like. <laughs> Yeah, if somebody at the live <laughs> tour hit Kyle, you don't think Kyle would have definitely gotten a car and left? On principle alone, yeah. I would have been the fuck out of there. I don't think he hit. It was like he got in an f- argument with the heckler. It wasn't a fist fight. Yeah, but I mean, I get it, dude. If he's like, obviously, he's the guy who gets hot. When you have a bad day. <laughs> yeah, he gets too hot. He can't even handle his own thoughts, man. He's yeah. got to fucking go, dude. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. And and you guys, I can't remember, Kyle. You and Kat know each other from... <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing, dude. Because <laughs> I know where I met Kat. I know our deep uh, roots, our relationship, yeah. and where that stemmed from. I'm just trying to, trying to be uh, empathetic to the guy right now. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, that's it. And I, yeah, I feel like I would it. I could see that that I would do the same thing. Be like, fuck this, I'm fucking out of here. And then do you're you just him? like it is cr- it was just at that point, it becomes a point of pride when you're like, fuck it. I already drew a line. Oops, I drew a line. My bad. Oh boy. Yeah, but but you as a professional, Kyle, yeah, you have to go, you kick the guy who caused the trouble out, and I have a job to do because these five thousand people or however many people were at that show are here to see me perform and I have to give them a show. Mm -hmm. When you telling me that right now when I'm in Toronto, chill as fuck, I get it. But right after I've drawn a line, like I don't know that I would see that in that moment, you know? I'm just saying, Katz, he's done a bunch of stuff like that, that that's the reason he fell off and it's nobody else's fault except for his own because I think he was saying like- Yeah, I agree. He's been blacklisted from Hollywood and Hollywood doesn't fuck with him. And you're like, well, there's a reason. And he called Kevin Hart like a plant. Like they planted him there. It's like, well, Kevin Hart did it his way. You Mm -hmm. did it your way. Mm -hmm. And your way (laughs) caused the studios not to like you because you wouldn't show up on time. I read that entirely wrong. I thought he was calling him like a a plant like he has leaves. Oh, Oh, shit. Like like he always leaves was the play on words. I don't think you got it. I might have gotten that one wrong. And that's that's my B. I haven't listened to the interview at all. You might want to rewatch the three hours again. Just uh, take some notes. Yeah, yeah I read. I out. read the what? transcript because that's just how it, I digest. So okay, so we're talking about a lot of tour, being on tour, a lot of stand up stuff. Okay, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. One other thing about Cat that I don't know if oh. you guys knew this, but circumcised, dude. I, I, my main takeaway is, dude used to go by Cat in the Hat. <laughs> yes, that right. is crazy. He did have a bit of a rebrand, didn't he? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I will say when he goes, when he's like, uh, when he was saying like Chris Tucker was getting nicknamed by Michael Jackson, he's like, "You ever let a great uh, another person give you a nickname?" I'm like, "Aren't you Cat? Yeah, <laughs> is it your name, Cat? You chose Cat? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> isn't your name Cat with two T's? Yeah, what is his name? And a K." I think it's like a basic ass. Cut the area. He was cat in the hat until he got a cease and desist from Disney. That's like, that's what he says. And then he had to change his name to Cat Williams. That's a multiverse right there. Like Catherine Williams. Well, I also don't think Cat in the Hat is owned by Disney. Isn't that a. Catherine Zeta Jones. That's what I was thinking too. And that's where I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> that's a Warner Brothers property, I believe. <laughs> See, there's holes in the guy's stories. Yeah. See, that's where I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. (laughs) You know what? I don't know if Cat Williams is exactly trustworthy. He might be spinning some yarns. And just to like protect uh, Weinstein for a second here. Yeah. Oh, God. I just don't buy (laughs) that story. You have to. Yeah. I mean, like, guy's a monster, but I don't know. Yep. Yep. Uh, So we're talking a lot about stand up or being Mm -hmm. on tour. I'm big on sarcasm in 2024. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, that's huge. And uh, we just got off the tour, guys. This is <laughs> pretty exciting shit. I finally feel like I've I've recovered. How many pounds have you guys lost each? I'm sitting pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sticking yeah. to me a little bit. Those buzz balls aren't shedding. I think I think I dropped about five pounds, but yeah. I didn't gain any weight on tour. Weirdly. Oh, okay. I gained all my weight uh, prior to going on tour, and then. 
Do you think you lost a lot of your beef muscle, dog? No. <laughs> your boobs are huge. So. All right. Nice. You know what I did do after after tour? Some, I, some beef muscle, dog. Right. I uh, I stopped. <laughs> I stopped fucking drinking caffeine, dude. I was like, oh, okay. yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was like, well, I got to do this. Uh, can we move on? Or did you want to? Do you want to keep talking about that? Or cool, Kyle. Okay, moving on. <laughs> do you want to? Yeah, you just want to say that, or do you want to? <laughs> Sick story. Moving right along. Okay. Do you? Uh... I read a book. Moving right along. <laughs> okay, so Kyle, how's that? Uh, is it affecting your body? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's all right. But yeah, you quit caffeine. Cool. Yeah, nice yeah, it was, yeah. I stopped it. Here, let's. L okay, so tell me about life without caffeine in in two seconds or less. <laughs> no, go, what's, okay. So how's it going? Did you get headaches? Did you have withdrawal? It's cool, but it's because no, it's because I was leaning on it so hard, and then the day after Christmas, I fucking fainted. I fainted oh, hard. I went down shit. really fucking hard, Wee dude. Yeah, he has risen. That's yeah. kind of crazy. What? Uh, yeah, that's wild, dude. Are you, uh, you know, how is your water intake? That's what everyone always says, dude. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it was due to dehydration because on that day I was like, well, I've had, I was going to get a double espresso. <laughs> okay. And, mm -hmm. and before that I was like, well, I've already had four fucking cups of coffee and I don't remember mm -hmm. having water. And uh, so yeah. I, th <laughs> so <laughs> I was dude, like, that's... all right. Sorry, is coffee is coffee not hydrating? No, it's dehydrating. It's dehydrates. You. It dehydrates you. Yeah. So I was like, that sucks. Oh, that's because you diarrhea. Yeah, it's right. the diarrhea. Yeah, I I leaned so hard on that shit on the tour <laughs> that I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> put this in check. My body, I I collapsed in front of my family, and my. Oh, the pitchiest my, way to collapse. Your children <laughs> are like, we're in, we're in charge now. <laughs> that is by far the bitchiest way. If you collapse in front of your children, they never going to look at you the same. Yeah, dude, dude like, it oh. sucked so bad, dude. My my five-year-old started crying. My yeah. wife my wife went into protector mode, and then my two-year-old was laughing hysterically. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? She started beating your kids away? Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? She started kicking you? Yeah. <laughs> No, like just like picking me up and trying to take me to the bed. Are you okay? Like really concerned. She just suplexed you yeah. Yeah. She's immediately. She mean you common sense mode. No, she fight. You just hear her say, "Oh, thank God, finally, kids, then, get in the car. Finally. We're doing the plan is in action. The plan is in action. Go, go. Yeah, the plan's go. <laughs> get your go bag. She picks up the phone. She's already on the phone with her lawyer. All right, so it All looks right. like it's happened. Uh, can we transfer the funds now, or you can pick one? You can pick one lovey. <laughs> we're, we're going to phase two. Phase two is initiated. Oh my God. So he did sign that life insurance clause, correct? Uh, he he knew a chunk. Go, go, Phase two. go. <laughs> yeah, it was go, wild, go. dude. It was wild. Protector mode activated. <laughs> protector mode phase two. <laughs> she went into protector mode, or like just general common sense mode. Yeah, um, exactly. And then my daughter was laughing hysterically. She's two. Uh, okay. She just thought it was uh, the yeah. funniest okay. shit, and I thought that was cool. That's funny. You're doing ha ha's, dude. Yeah, he's the comedian of the crew. I like that. You're doing a couple chucks. Dude, she's she's fucking dark. She's got a dark <laughs> sense of humor. I like that. I know. I dug it. I dug it. I dug it. That's cool. Uh, well, that sucks, buddy. Yeah, definitely yeah. Uh, uh, up your water intake. What I like to do is I like to double fist. You got some coffee and then, you know, chug so a Kyle, glass of water. Because I know you, <laughs> what have you replaced yes. caffeine with? Tea. It's a bagel. It's just okay. tea, dude. I have, yeah. and I still, I'm doing like. Sorry, tea has caffeine right no no not like herbal teas herbal teas doesn't have caffeine at all kyle have you tried zoa have you tried <laughs> zoa energy <laughs> now we're talking I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do that and also have you tried to unleash the beast uh yeah, yeah. energy drinks alcohol drink uh, uh, mm. that is strange i mean i hadn't had a red bull in fucking like five or ten years and on the tour i was sipping them 
during oh, the yeah. shows. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. It was, I was the, going the tour on is, it. Yeah. I am. <laughs> I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that why you almost fainted on stage? I got to, you might want to get some blood work done, Playboy. Yeah, yeah. I would get some blood work done. Because <laughs> that ragu. Because <laughs> I drink, I feel like, at the same level of <laughs> yeah, caffeine this or probably blood. more. I did. I drink. got blood. I got blood work okay. done, too. Your blood this is dude. paste picante, bro. <laughs> New <laughs> York City. This dude's blood is classico. <laughs> Yeah, now I'm like all up on. I'm like, I got a nutritionist. I'm like going, I'm going deep, dude. <laughs> Spaghettios. This dude's right. blood type is Chef Boy RD. <laughs> well, I love that. Hey, you know what? Come on, we ha- <laughs> let me get him. We haven't retired yes, him yet. <laughs> let me get him. <laughs> we were gonna retire the points, but they're still here today. Type Spaghettio. So we have a a lot of. Uh, I mean. What what would you guys say as far as tour goes? What was your favorite city and why? Uh, go. What is your favorite city and why? Go. Fucking you guys. Oh wait, what? <laughs> oh, that is a tough one. I've got a. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> well, I just know it. It was Chicago. That was just very cool for me to uh, yes. finally meet my parents. That was cool seeing that. <laughs> Basically yeah. to have homies cool. there Dad. and then to get them Mom. backstage after the show, hang out mm-hmm. with you guys, drink some beers. Mm-hmm. Uh, pizza, pizza. That was pretty rad. And the Chicago theater was no joke. Oh, man. That was beautiful. That was our second stop on the tour. And that theater was so gorgeous. Like, it, it had me a little shook. We Was we, that so er, – yeah, that's when you didn't talk for 15 minutes in the middle of the show. Well, that was the Malort. That was the Malort. But Yeah, the Malort hit you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just slumped. My man was slumped. Uh, there were other highlights, but just like uh, in that context of like back home, sweet home Chicago, that was yeah. it for me. Um, yeah, that was that that was that was up the ante. And you guys going to my folks' place and us getting some Buffalo Joes. That was that was really that special. Was very, that was dope. Oh, so oh. dope. I loved uh, it. Yeah, that was Gosh. way fun. I mean, there's so many fun times on the tour. I, I wish I I miss it already. Yeah, it was very fun. Pretty stoked to be home. How we just toured, <laughs> uh, I think I could do that forever. Okay. I honestly think I could do Toasty! that for hmm. and never. Dude, there's no way I could have. I was like, no way. I can't yeah. do another flight. This just, is the way. Just three days yeah. a week. Just that. Hmm. I feel like when we did, when we were gone for hmm. longer than that, when it ended up being five or six days, that yeah. was a little too much. But when it was like. You fly out, you do two shows, you fly back home th- that following day. I feel like mm-hmm. I could do that forever. It's I'm on to... the same. I'm I, Adam. I'm on the same tip. I feel like I could do that three times a year. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel pizza, like pizza. I feel like with two. I feel like two months of that would have been the sweet spot. By that third month, I was like, Yeah, you were. You were. We did. We did it. Right. We did it. <laughs> you were feeling it. Third month, Durs was. He was We're good. Done. I remember being in the airport Toasted. and you're like, I'm not going to talk this weekend. I'm like, that's not going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> we need you to talk on the pod. And I did. I didn't cat Williams' situation. No, you didn't. But <laughs> thank goodness, you little cat bastard. Yeah, I, I loved it. Besides the not being able to walk by the end of it uh, and needing surgery because I fucked my shit up. I know, I'm like, did you remember? <laughs> we all we all almost died. <laughs> I was in so much pain. Um Yeah, you trooper did. And and my hip, I didn't even tell you guys. So they they I got a new hip uh a, not a new hip, but a, another hip surgery on my left mm-hmm. side. Last time I got the right side. They found all the shit in there. They thought it was just a torn labrum. They were like, Oh diarrhea. They were like, There's Doo-doo. this is the cause of your diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. The cause of diarrhea. Uh, they found uh, a bunch of um what did they find in there are you cured <laughs> micro machines from when i was a kid you're my old keys <laughs> fucking another stitch <laughs> fucking chicken chicken rope no they uh uh cartilage had broken free and ah. was floating in my hip joint and they're like oh. that's essentially I, like I knew that i knew that <laughs> that's what i said having sand in your hip in your joint and it uh, causes a lot of pain. So, so wait, are yeah. you cured, little baby, baby, sh- baby shark? Are you are you cured, or is it like is that? Did we find it? 
That's part of it. That's part of it. So we fixed that. And then essentially from that, they're like, you'll probably need a new hip in the next five years. So I'm like, sick, sick, sick. Okay. Uh, and so yeah. when they say new hip, does that mean that they like coat? Because it's like a ball and socket, right? Yeah. So do they like eh. remove the top of the leg bone, the femur, or do they coat that in it's something? Science. And then they coat the socket in something. So you have. I I believe it's like a full implant. I believe they like take your hip out and put the new hip in right so yeah. so the whole thing really? that, that holds the femur the thing i think so i think so i mean i don't know i have not i i i was just told this and and what is it is it like i'm gonna put i'm gonna put off researching it for four and a half more years i've definitely mm-hmm. had people in my lives that have got hip surgeries but they're also old that when they talk yeah. about it i do not listen at all <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, like it's like my hip. You're too busy sexualizing them. <laughs> well, it's such an old person surgery, and so it really sucks because I'm doing a ton of physical therapy, you know, and so I'm doing a ton of physical therapy. Is and that everyone J-O? there? Like, I'll meet young people, and they're like, "What are you in for?" Thinking like knees, or you hurt yourself playing basketball, and then I say right. hip, and you like, see they like lose respect for me in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> the face change. They go, yeah, no, we know you're hip, but what oh. are you here for? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get in protector mode. <laughs> oh, wow. So so it's saying, like, producer Anna just dropped in. It's not like they're not even taking out the whole hip. They're just replacing the damaged parts with, like, ceramic, like fucking coffee cups, dude. Oh, shit. That's that's what I'm saying. That's what I okay. thought. Yeah. Like it's, they coat it up. So they take the, they, but they take the damaged part out and then mm-hmm. replace the that new ceramic. The they just Was, pulling your shit out the kiln. Yeah. They say as far as yeah, you got. Can they do that to my brain? As far <laughs> as surgeries go, uh, like in in one of your joints, hips are the best ones, the easiest yeah. uh, to bounce back from. So Thanks again. Adam Devine. All Adam right. Devine doesn't fuck around. He wants yeah. the best. He does the best. <laughs> I want the best and the easiest. <laughs> Hey, the diesel train. Wait, on a real, on a real, wait, just to circle back. Dude, please. They went please. in and they, they went in and found <laughs> baby shark cartilage, right? <laughs> they did. Had they never been in there before? Had they'd only been in the other hip? They've only been in the other hip. And the other hip was just like there was an impingement and a torn labrum and they fixed the impingement. And right. And Blake, the what is Blake, just for people listening, uh-huh. impingement is... Science. <laughs> it's science. Right. Um, okay, so they they never been in this other the board, the board. You want me to give an educated guess to what impingement is? Yeah, it's just kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, Blake, please explain what impingement is. Because I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, wait, can you wait? Can you lead me? <laughs> yeah, impingement, Blake. Go for it. You couldn't. You couldn't guess what impingement is. Just, I, I would guess that it's when nerves are being pinched and they're in. They're being impingement. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, close, something's close. pinched. Yes. That's very true. Something's pinched. No, it's it's a little, it's actually a little tiny breath mint that you pinch. <laughs> a it's little a impingement. impingement. Okay. For breath. If you have a little bit of bad breath. Oh, like a smint. <laughs> no points. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, what do you think impingement means? It, no points. <laughs> it's like a smint, huh? What's up, me? What What do you think imp- impingement Im- is? Yeah, it's a, yes, thank you, an impingement. <laughs> it's an impingement. <laughs> It's an impingement. <laughs> what do you think impingement is, Kyle? It's obviously some kind of an obstruction of sorts. Um, oh, it. good answer. Good right. answer. Good answer. Points, <laughs> points. Uh, uh, okay, hmm. well, essentially it is. It's it's when the your ball and socket, and it's, my, it's supposed to be a perfect circle, and mm-hmm. mine was shaped Great like band. an egg. So when it would get f- all the way out, it would catch on the uh the socket right so it would catch and they were like as long as you're not ever doing the jazz splits you'll be fine and you're (laughs) like um totally dude and so then they they shaved it down to make it a perfect uh ball so it can move around the joint prop okay all right so they did that to both hips, and uh, I'm moving around uh, a lot better than I was those last handful of shows. I was like, mm-hmm. in New York, I was just a shell of a man. I, th- yeah. I, would, I would just get transported to the show. They'd yeah. shove me on stage. Yeah. <laughs> They'd roll you out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Place you in your sofa. Yeah. And then just let him rip. Give me my go juice. Here he goes again. Dude, that was sick. What? Go ahead. Um, I, 
I, I do wish that you were like, yeah, I'm moving better. And then like we hung out and saw you walk and it was like crazy, <laughs> but we couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, see you. I just gallop everywhere I go. Yeah. You look like a fucking giraffe with yeah. diarrhea. Just kind of like. You look like something out of Dark Crystal. <laughs> yeah. You look like a gorilla when he's up on his hind legs. Oh, yeah. They walk hella cool. Yeah. Just wide. My boy's got a waddle. Got that walk. It would look good on you. Oh, man. Any, any other surgeries? <laughs> Kyle, what do you think your favorite city, uh, both maybe to perform in and, and hang out in? Yeah. I think to, I think the my favorite performance might have been San Antonio. I really liked. Oh. I, I really like liked that show. I thought it was fun. That's all right stars at night when i sang selena and that was like oh yeah from like back in the recesses of like yeah that was crazy deep brain mm -hmm. yeah the deep brain and it yeah. was like but also there was columbus uh oh some what, what the fuck i do not remember columbus what the hell happened there that that was when uh, kyle gas was at that show oh chor columbus yeah 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 chor columbus. columbus i think we had the, i think i had and, the recliner at that show and i really loved that it was such a comfy show that was nice <laughs> we also recent we also had just gone from uh Cleveland, so, uh, Cleveland, and yeah. did yeah. the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, and yeah. I feel like that gave us a lot of fun ammo to talk right. about yeah. all the cool shit we had just seen. Cheryl Crow, good call, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> good call. And I was, I really wanted the, uh, the like lit wing. I was like really confused that Pool right. of Mud didn't have a, yeah. a wing there. Yeah, that, did that we call thing. ourselves Crow Nuts? I can't remember. Yeah, Young did. Crow Hearts, dude. While. Um. Young young crow hearts. Wait. <laughs> yeah, we're we're young crow hearts. Cheryl Crow, man. I mean Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't get the love and respect that that she deserves. Yeah. Young Cheryl Crow. Woo. No, but she just did the Yeah, dude, it's out of control. Yeah, but she just did the hall, rock and roll hall of fame. I think she just got inducted, or at least she performed at the thing that was on TV. Well, the other I night. mean, they sure had a, for a spread for her already at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They did. They yeah, did. So she must crazy. have been inducted before. Yeah. Or I they knew um, that she was going to get inducted. So they're like, hey, let's let's, let's give. Uh, let's grab her bell bottom. Let's make sure the, the young crow hearts <laughs> have something to look at. Yeah. Her them. little lace up leather yeah. bell bottoms. Ooh, um, let's get those little, little bell bottoms on display. It was wild to see. You would see like a piece of clothing and it transported you right back to watching those videos in the late yeah. 90s yeah early 2000s uh, like right. i America. saw the red fedora and i go that's kid rock's red fedora mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. fuck yeah and <laughs> instantly transported <laughs> yeah and i think i was standing next to durs and you were like how do you know that and yeah. i was like i don't know i just know and then sure enough it was yeah it just took over your body American like a badass. spirit you understand? all of a sudden adam's eyes rolled in the back of his head and he's like <laughs> Kid Rock's <laughs> presence is near. Yeah. I'm sensing Kid Rock. Ba with the ba. I, I am an American badass. You understand the illegitimate son of man. Um, was Columbus in the the Mason jar? <laughs> was it a <laughs> Mason Dixon line? <laughs> yes, yes. I think it was. It was in like the Freemason <laughs> spot. Yeah. Was it in the Mason Freemason place? Yo, that place had. Oh yeah. Go go ghosts. She said, "No, that was that was Cleveland. That place has some tunnels underneath. I bet." Where was that, Adam? That was Cleveland. That was Cleveland. That was Cleveland. Oh yeah, that's what it says right here. It says Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the one right before. Oh, okay. Columbus was the one that we had the tiny dressing room and the elevator. To, it was like four stories up the dressing room. Right. And then I I was kept taking the shitty elevator up and down. I'm like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna die in here. <laughs> It and, been uh, cool. and then um, was Gas that the, came. Right. With that cool old, the cool older guy was like, hey. Yeah. Ryan Gas came and kicked it with us. Kyle Gas came. Yeah. Ryan and Ryan. <laughs> oh, sorry. Kyle Gas. Not <laughs> and Ryan. His, son, his son, Ryan. A lot of people Ryan. don't know he has a son. <laughs> yeah. Who's Ryan Gas? I think I went to high school with a Ryan Gas, actually. I, I know I did. Oh, that was wild, dude. Uh, he might have been there, and I hated to correct you. It was your friend from high school there? <laughs> yeah. dude, that's my uh, bad. Yeah, those were great shows. Those were really fun shows. I feel yeah. like, yeah, go ahead, Blake. Uh, you, I had two, but I would have to say, I mean, Seattle was fucking fun as fuck. Oh, um, Seattle, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah, Seattle was a banger. That was Halloween, and we all had the costumes, and it was just a blast. Um, number. And, dude, and also, like, our old friends... 
from yes. like way back in the day that we haven't seen in probably like legit 15 years came mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. And it's cool to connect with people that there was a, a girl friend group that we knew that n- none of us had ever hooked up. There was no like <laughs> mixing like that. It was no, just nothing. like they were a fun group of girls to go hang out and party with when we were in our early 20s. And not that I didn't want to. They just they just weren't interested. <laughs> right, right. Getting radical. But it was cool to see them. Like, we were such good friends back then. And then they moved away. And we hadn't seen each other in 15 years to reconnect. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. I, I went right back to just being drunk around them. It was fun. Oh, yeah, dude. Ange, Christy, Allison. <laughs> yeah. We saw Mary in Cleveland. Yeah, yep, it was yep. very, uh, it's a very party. fun. After L- after um, Seattle, that's when I tried LSD with Blake. Oh, yeah. And that shit yeah. was kind of tight. <laughs> sure, he's got right. quick caffeine, but he's on that LSD. <laughs> yeah. Gave up caffeine <laughs> yeah. and alcohol, and now he he's does. Like, he's like, yeah, I have a nutritionist, eat really healthy. Uh, yeah, did a lot of acid on yep. tour. Uh, yeah. Yep. In the form of a spray. It was a spray. It was like Binaka. Yeah, and you just went... Yeah, it was a little little banaka. Oh, oh, it's a spray. Oh, then a spray. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a Sorry. little acid spray. No, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not justifying mm-hmm. it or anything. It was LS yeah. fucking D, baby, and it was it was nice. I I liked it. No, go off. Mm. What did you guys? It was fun. Hey, uh, did you go on a little ride with that, or what, what was the deal? It was you know it, it kicked in a little late for me. Like yeah, it started to hit me day two. So did you go to bed? Were you able to go to sleep or that's Late? my trouble with doing drugs when you're out? You're like, well, I'm going to want to go to bed at about 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. want to stay up at 6 a.m. and like <laughs> look at my bed <laughs> and, and right. be like, Ugh. no, I was able to sleep. Blake, you were oh, able to sleep, right. right? Yeah. I can't remember, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> I like Blake's like, I slept upside down in my closet, but I slept. Yeah. yeah I woke up hanging from my ankles. It was yeah. weird, dude. Yeah. This dude thought he was Michael Keaton. Batman. Because I just remember that, that, yeah, the next morning I went and played pickleball and that shit fucking looked cool, dude. Like I saw the angles. I saw the matrix. Yeah. Right. Oh, I yeah, did. You think you played pickleball that morning. <laughs> yeah. This dude was in the hotel lobby with a clipboard like, yeah, like, yeah! Leave him alone. <laughs> with a clipboard. Leave him alone. Just leave him alone. He'll be fine. Sir, find those are way. apples to be eaten. Uh, welcome back uh, to the Double Tree. Yeah, those shows those shows rocked, dude. Portland. Uh, the other one I really liked was Kansas City was rowdy, dude. Yeah, they were dude. so freaking hyped in Kansas City. That crowd was. Kansas City went off. I was about to say that. Yeah. That crowd was fucking nuts. That dude. was a good one. Yeah, I was. My parents went to both shows. And uh, my dad was like, he blamed us. He was like, you guys really brought it in Kansas City. Would you phone in it in in Omaha? Those are our last two shows. <laughs> mm-hmm. That actually sounded like your dad there. <laughs> we'll, do, go, we'll do it uh, live. I go, N- I mean, no, we weren't phoning it in. It's uh, the podcast was just us talking. Like, you know, we we, we had it. Right. It's, it's always phoned in, dad. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always phoned in. Do you know what his, because, yeah, I can never tell, like, if we're phoning it in or not. <laughs> like, what? Well, right right now, we are. Yeah. Well, we're zooming in. in. Yeah. Right now, we are. This is a phone in. But what's his, what's his metric? Why did he, as an audience member, think that we were phoning it in? Well, it's because, it's because, it, I think it was because the Omaha audience were a great audience. They mm-hmm. did, a, they were fantastic. Right. But yes. they didn't, they weren't as rowdy. I yeah. think they were respectful. They were like ex- actually very excited right. and okay. were just a more respectful crowd, which some crowds are more respectful. Chicago was like that. Chicago was like that. Chicago yeah. was oh, yeah. not uproarious, but they right. were big and, and they um, were, yeah, we sold a lot of tickets. Like Omaha, we were packed to the fucking brim. There was 3,000 yeah. people there. It was yeah. wild. Yeah, it was awesome. Dude, I saw and, a person standing in the aisle. Yeah, that was wild, yeah. dude. Without a seat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and and I I just feel like they were just a more courteous crowd. Uh, when yeah. Kansas yeah. City was just debaucherous. I'm like, I have yeah. no idea. Great, Adam. Great word, by the way. I mean, oh, a yeah, lot of word. unbelievable. I mean, dude, yeah. Kansas City out of control. <laughs> Omaha, very courteous. <laughs> yes, and uh, Kansas City debaucherous. 
debauchery. Yeah. They were out of their minds. People got fucked up in the audience. And then we went and party oh. with uh, my yeah. family afterwards. And yes. I yeah. mean, my, my aunt I, Patty. I bellied up with Patty. <laughs> yeah. Aunt Patty is did. a fucking legend. Yeah, just fucking pounding shots, Aunt mm-hmm. Patty style. Loved yep. it. Yeah, I was wrestling She's with your best, uncle dude. on the dance floor, it dude. A... I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna fucking kick your ass, bro. Uncle Matt throwing it down. Aunt Cindy was there. Aunt mm-hmm. Julie. Aunt Julie, who you rarely see throw Congrats. down, yeah, was going yeah. for it. That was a Woo. blast. Yeah, she was throwing down. She punched me in the face. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? That's weird. Yeah, she peed up dirt. Yeah. No, I caught it in my mouth though. But technically, <laughs> that is the face. That's true. Uh, I feel for me, I think it was fairly early on. It was that Phoenix show I just thought was wild. Mm-hmm. Dude. It's a celebrity yes. theater show where it's uh, it's in the round and uh, and the farthest seat away in that theater is like 70 feet, which is yeah. not very far. Yeah. And so it felt like it was right on top of you. And, you know, there's 2,500 people there. And yeah. they were wild and crazy. They were like trying to climb on the stage and shit. That, yeah, that was the only that's, show that's the where mess. I was like, I think we're not going to be alone on stage by the end of this. Yeah, right, um, right. It was, it was, it was way wild. Which, yeah. uh, which was just really fun. I was like, damn, this is. It was like herding cats. Mm-hmm. Um, herding cats. I'm in. Yeah, that one was off the chain. <laughs> yeah, it was like stepping on cat. Herd, herd. Uh, so it was like ripping cats in half. Hurting, hurting cats. <laughs> Oh, hurting, hurting. Yeah, not for me. Sorry. <laughs> Different thing. Different thing. Yeah. I thought you were talking about like bending their legs this way. And I was like, where are we doing it? And then you, I, I miss, I miss understood. It was hurting. It was hurting, bro. Um, hurting. Wait, real, real quick Seattle thing. Uh, no, yeah. I was, I was just back home. Your dick? Um, and uh, his dick in what? that Chucky costume. What the fuck? Come on, we're all thinking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like good memory, dude. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, <laughs> dude. I was uh, like, yeah. my dick. Like, we're all thinking it. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. That's um, sixty-nine, got, got dude. I can't forget that. <laughs> I see it when I close my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I guess. Uh, apparently. Um, I was just home. Turns is circling back for that. <laughs> Looks like you got a hand grenade down there, bro. What the I was hell? Just, is that a good shape? <laughs> it's like a Cornish game hand. Hen? <laughs> it's like hand. a Cornish games hand. Hand. Like, <laughs> killing it. Um, all right. Think of two more things that I don't think we're going to... Just let me tell this story real quick. I was at home and my... F- <laughs> Water balloon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, my mom had like these pictures out on like a table that she was like going through because they're like trying to move soon or whatever. And um, there was a picture of her and my brothers and my dad at the like, what is it, the fish market right there? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Like standing at the bottom of those. They were like a cousin's wedding and I was at a swim meet or some shit. And they were standing at the bottom of those stairs to the restaurant that we went and ate at. Oh, uh, what was that place called? Was it called Matt's? My Matt's Mike's. Yeah, but this picture's from like fucking Mike's at Pikes. Matt's at Pikes. It's 15, 20 years ago. Matt's no Matt's at the market. I okay. Believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, dude, I was just there a few weeks ago. That's crazy. Like standing right there. That's awesome. It was just weird. It was just like a fucking weird thing. Yeah. I'd say it is weird. And we had really good weather. Yeah. The whole trip was fucking cool. It's cool to see all the cities and like. Yeah, man, the the LSD rocked, bro. I feel uh, Austin. Austin, mm-hmm. uh, Austin was the shit. Austin, Austin was the Austin. shit. Yeah. Yes. What you was got- the name of that restaurant that I took you guys to? Jeffrey's. Texas had me scared. Tex- Texas had me scared when I was smoking weed behind after the. Uh, Texas had me scared. There were a couple uh-huh. places where yeah. I'm like, where am I? Am I? Is this? That was the LSD. You- yeah, that was the LSD you're on. It finally kicked in. Uh, you were fine, Cal. I know, but, but people yeah. backstage would be like, oh, 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 you got to put it out. I'm like, what the fuck state am What's... I in where you can't smoke weed? Like Tex- Texas. At a Texas. fucking art yeah. show. Yeah. That's what are, I you, are you I asking like, me? <laughs> I don't, yeah, I didn't know where I Texas. was. And I uh-huh. didn't like that part. I, The great state of Texas. <laughs> yeah. Well, you knew where you were because you flew there. We all traveled mm-hmm. there together. You knew yeah. where you were. Yeah. It was uh-huh. Texas. <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't like that part. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah. You, they're cowboy hats, cowboy boots. I think that Texas run was was probably my favorite because we drove from. I mean, it, dude. We it, just uh, the driving was the most fun because then you stop at a fun. weird truck stop or weird gas station. We all get out. We can we know. talk Waco surf? Yeah, Waco surf. Oh, Waco surf was awesome, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wake up. I mean, that was a very, that was a highlight. That was fucking sick. Yeah. I'm not even a good surfer. Wake so we stopped at Waco Surf and it was, it was planned, but it, Waco Surf is like one of the, I think there's, they said there's two or three in the whole country where they have these like man made waves, uh, man made waves and they are perfect and they can, uh, they could give you like a hundred different types of waves. And mm -hmm. they gave us like, you know, you guys are beginners here. This will get you up. And uh, sure enough, we could all get up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, barely, barely. Yeah. We, we, they said we broke some sort of record. Yeah. They're like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest surf crew rolling in. Yeah. Yeah. They said we were the greatest. It was cool seeing the guys right afterward, right after us. They were like, oh, we get out. And we're like, oh, right. We actually did it. Ow! Yeah. And then they're like, wow, good job, guys. Wow, man, way to go. All right, yeah. we're up next. And then they turn on the music. And it was suddenly like. <laughs> yeah. Ow! Yeah. And they're just ripping it up. Yeah. They were shredding. I know. I wish we would have had a playlist. I think it would have been cool. They turned up the waves to 11. I think one of those guys was either a pro or a semi-pro. And then those were like his homies. And they were just... It was crazy. They were absolutely gnar with it. There was that dude out there just in like a Texas flag Speedo and a cowboy hat. And yep. neither of them were coming off as he shredded the waves. Yeah, how's that work? Crazy. <laughs> and do you think the speed? I was like, do you think the Speedo should, should come off somehow? <laughs> dude... This dude's just fucking rubbing his hands on the shoreline like, I bet one of them comes off. Wait, which which one did you want to come off? <laughs> oh, I, was, I was watching. I was waiting. I mean, <laughs> Wait, which one did you want to come off, buddy? Uh, look, something. Yeah. One of them is going to come off. <laughs> <sighs> which one? Ooh, baby. <laughs> Anybody want to make a bet which one I can get off first? <laughs> oh boy. If those aren't coming off, I'm coming off. <laughs> <to something. laughs> Ow. Yeah. Look at look at that boy's hand grenade right there. He's got a hand grenade and a water balloon. <laughs> Huh. Is that a boxing glove in his pants, or is he just happy to see me? Is that Look a longhorn in his pants? <laughs> damn. <Cornish> game hand. <laughs> da -da -damn. <laughs> da -da damn son. So what are your memories from the tour, Blake? <laughs> your dick in the costume, the one guy in the Speedo. The speedo, his dick. <laughs> Who's other dick? Who's other dick? Oh, what, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? It was uh, always it was always the next morning. I would, you know, you talk to Isaac the next morning, and uh, he'd I'd be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, uh, we left the bar, went home. And he's like, yeah. And then Blake wouldn't leave my hotel room. I'm like, what? <laughs> he's, like, radical. he's like, yeah, it, it was like 4 a.m. And Blake was just like drinking all my beers. What Blake would do most nights. <laughs> well, I go, wanted to see, we, him. <laughs> I wanted go, see him change into his pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> we'd go back to the hotel. We would go to bed. Blake would then follow Isaac to his room, <laughs> drink all of his beers, and then and then fall asleep on his floor. And Isaac had to be like, yo, you have to go to your room. You have to go to your room. I don't like you guys telling me to show my tits. I just like the guy. He's my late night captain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's tour life, baby. I'm you just good? Trying to make, I'm just trying to make the nights last as long as possible. Yeah, no doubt. He likes sunrises. But you got to get up the next morning, dude. I love that. Yeah, I, I drank. I drank in your room a couple a couple nights. Yeah, it was fun. Like that, that was... like in New York when we were all drinking. I think in your room, and then the next day we had press to go do, like much like Cat Williams. And uh, yeah, and, and <laughs> now you get it. And then you didn't show up, and we we're like, "Well, where's Blake?" And then you called, and then you were mad at us. No, he was mad at you. He was mad at you. Yeah. Then we went out to lunch after we went and did yeah after we went and did did press. Me and Blake went out to eat in New York, and he goes he goes well why didn't why didn't you like set an alarm for me? We were all drinking <laughs> in my room. Like why didn't you make sure? Why didn't you take my phone and 
But <laughs> yeah, why didn't you? It was even just like, why didn't you tell me what time we were getting up? And it's like, you have all the information. I'm like, you know, you knew what, and he's like, well, you were, all, you saw how drunk I was last night. Why didn't you like make sure that I was, I'd get up? I'm like, that's insane. I'm, it's, not, it's not my fault. <laughs> this yeah. is no. not on me. No, this is, not on me. <laughs> this is 40, bud. Yeah, man. Yeah. Ooh, you gotta, you gotta set alarms, dude. <laughs> you want to be on the leash or off the leash? Come on. Hey, I made it to the press. I did hey, it. All right. It. I was just yeah. a little. Yeah, but I called you like three times from the lobby, dude. Yeah. Like I had to wake your ass up. It's, uh, it sounds like Blake's tone got real for yeah. a second. I, I was <laughs> testing you guys. Well, I guess Blake is. He's Cat oh, Williams, cool. dude, which, by the way, we all respect you, dude. <laughs> we also like got you a coffee. We mm -hmm. did that. We all love you. You're going to make a dope podcast. Mm -hmm. We got you a coffee, remember? <laughs> I'm going to talk shit about everybody. Yeah. I, you did, and I appreciate that. Thank you for the coffee. Uh, Shay Shay Radio. Yeah, we went and got you. But now that I know that. Yeah, we took care of you, bro. We, yeah. we had your back. Don't yell at us. All right, man. Getting me coffee is kind of trying to trying to kill me. I was with you. It was my idea, remember? And then, yes. It was your idea. I, I, paid, I paid the money. Yeah. You paid for the coffee. You did. You like to pay for, for things. And I think that's cool about you, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that how you make up for stuff? You you buy you buy your apologies? I buy and... things, yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's a love language. I think uh, it's cool. Yeah, gifts. It? I was just doing a nice thing for Blake. Uh, Thank you, Adam. My so idea. then we go to Austin, Texas. And Austin was radical we had a great, <laughs> great time in austin i don't remember austin you don't remember going to that dope dinner jeffrey's <laughs> oh yeah Whoa. that was delicious that yeah. was very good that was good the bread the bread oh my god the bread Whew. if you're in i have no memory of this i don't I, i'm not trying to sound like a simpleton but the bread was off the chain if you're in austin you gotta go to jeffrey's yeah oh yeah i remember oh yeah the bread yeah, what were they? They were turnovers. They were turnovers. They were, I believe they, or popovers? What the fuck yeah, were they Yeah, popover, I believe. It's mm -hmm. something, but they were delicious. It's something. Yeah, it was bread. Yeah. Toasty! It's bread. Yeah, that place was dope. That was good. It was yum yum. Popovers, turnovers, something delicious. Yeah, I'm just going to call it bread. Um, yum yum, we liked that. That was yum yum. Yeah, and that, and that was essentially, that's tour, man. And then it was... That's uh, that was it. Sorry, <laughs> every other city. That was it. Sorry if we forget your city. You were we do it to Okay, top three, top three worst cities. Go. Hmm, that's a tough one. Well, I just like that Dallas down. didn't let us throw out buzz balls. I will say that, and the same goes for San Diego. Okay, bitches. That was the other thing about Texas. They would not let us throw buzzies. That was too many rules, bro. Mm -hmm. I think there was only one or two places that wouldn't. Let us throw out buzz balls. Every place after we threw out buzz balls right. was pretty butthurt that we threw out the buzz balls. <laughs> to, to be fair, I definitely hit like a speaker full on and it exploded. Yeah, yeah. and the audience members were throwing up in the aisles and it was yeah. it was problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were pretty sloppy. <laughs> but even the cities that like weren't the most fun cities to go to, yeah. uh, our fans showed up in those mm -hmm. cities and were wild and it was so much fun. And yes. big shout outs to everyone that that got a ticket and came out. It was so yeah. fun to see everybody. You guys uh, really made us feel like rock stars. <laughs> yes, punch! Which was, which and, was fun. Mm -hmm. and the repeat offenders. We had people coming to multiple shows. Wild. Yeah, that was wild. That was sick. It was like, it's like we were the fucking dead, man. Yeah, Bro, man. the freaking pod yeah. nation. Hey. I felt like the dead. Com comedy grateful dead. I'll take it. And we're grateful. And, to, and for that, we're grateful. <laughs> and we are that, very grateful. grateful. And Kyle does LSD, so we're not that far off. No, no, we're not. Yeah, I, dude, I, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at LSD. And I eat cherry, Gar and I eat cherry Garcia constantly. <laughs> Fuck it. Or shrooms. There were shrooms everywhere. That was pretty cool. Portland was full of shrooms. That was great. We also were given literal duffel bags full of weed. Yeah, we gotta reach out to your brother Kyle because he's got what? my weed in multiple city. Any, any. California show that we did was oh Adam oh yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely wild yeah, you want it so yeah much. Adam knew a check he got he yes. took all of our weed and he was like oh, don't worry <laughs> yes. I'll get it I'll get it to you guys I'll drive it uh, down and I'll <laughs> I'll hook you guys up radio <laughs> silence. allegedly 
Radio silence since he took four duffel bags full of weed. Home. Can't reach him. Yeah. Cannot reach him. Yeah, well, the bro's pretty smart. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I bet he's a popular guy these days. You know, he's a new check, that's for sure. He's a new check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got Uh huh. I know that I know that he's got a freezer full of mushrooms, dude. That bro is he's he's going. Oh, is he cool. becoming a little mushroom head? I didn't know that about them. Mushrooms rock, dude. Mushrooms are the best. Well, I didn't hey. say they're not. And that's a, that's a family. That's that's what our family says. A- Adam didn't say they don't. <laughs> that's your family crest. I, yeah. I like mushrooms. That's great. I, yeah. I bet I've done more mushrooms than you have. Okay. Maybe. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah. Okay. There's ways to catch up. I've been getting after it lately, but maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I dig it. Damn, dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Okay. That's a cool bet, bro. <laughs> Well, there's no way to prove it, but from yeah. 16 to about 22, I I took. Okay. Well, Name all the times. We got. You could do it. I took. I mean, I probably did <laughs> an eighth of mushrooms, two to three dozen times. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. That, okay, yeah. Your quantity is up because I'm a micro deuce. Fe- micro deuce. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are. You are. You are I'm a little micro shit. deuce, bro. You are a oh, micro God. deuce. Yeah. Shit. yeah, I yeah, deuce it, micro. <laughs> But to me, I, I get it because doing a little bit of mushrooms is fun and you're just a little giggly and stuff. But like, yeah, but Adam likes to go dark. Don't no, I, I don't go dark. I go. I mean, I'm on a different planet, but that to me is the point of doing mushrooms. You want to go see what Mars is like, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're a monster. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm not I'm not I'm not I don't really want to dive in super hard. I just like to dabble. I like to fucking microdose. Were you have you ever actually tripped on mushrooms? I no, I just do the little trips. I just do the little little baby trips. That's uh-huh. it. I just kind of live my uh-huh. life on mushrooms, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Pizza, Which pizza. I like it. Yeah, I guess that's that's the resp- uh, responsible thing because imagine you're high as a kite and then uh you collapse, <laughs> and, right? Right. You're si- you're you're sitting by the pool with your children. Yeah, yeah. And then you faint. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th- and then you have to go in uh, protector yeah. mode. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. Imagine then you suddenly have to go in protector mode for some reason, and yeah. you're just a guy. And then your yeah. family just looks at you, and it's just you hugging a cactus in your backyard. Right. What's and your family's like, oh, he's, yeah. he went in protector mode. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, God. <laughs> Bo- Kids, booming. grab your go bags. <laughs> this is it. The plan's in effect. I did mushrooms one time, and we were all high as kites, and we, uh, we are exploring this oh, okay. he, this, he's like, making cave. it up now <laughs> yeah. no no we were in uh, a Ooh. Joshua tree and we were exploring these like caves and it's like this rock face and we climb over top and we get down into this caves and there's like all these little mini caves around and we're like oh this is kind of a cool place and then we look in and there's like a pit of like animal bones mm-hmm. and we're like okay. oh this is where like uh what bobcats or whatever fucking cats big cats are out in joshua tree mm-hmm. and we're, we freak out we're like this is their home this is like the end of the gray when he's with all those caves and they come out all the right, right, right. the wolves come out and 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 murder liam neeson and he puts the like <laughs> little little alcohol bottles between his knuckles right <laughs> yeah that's right yeah it's sick oh shit oh yeah it's sick oh that movie rocks but then we're like we're like oh shit we're in the middle of these caves there's probably bobcats or whatever in, in these caves right here. And we're like, we got to get out of here. And we get out and we run for what we think is forever. And then we sit down and relax. And we're like, oh, man, that was life or death. We could have fucking died right then. That mm-hmm. was wild. The next day we woke up and saw how far we ran. It was like 30 feet. <laughs> we right. ran. With, I mean, maybe 30 yards, 30 yards. It was like. Wait, so you guys slept outside under like. Just under the stars? No, we were just out, uh, uh, like, all night. Uh, just, like... I like to think you... Oh, then you went back to investigate the scene of the crime? You went back, yeah. And then we the next morning, we woke up and then, like, went back to see, like... You're like, wait, why is there... Where we went, and we were like, <laughs> oh, this is where we sat, and those are the caves. We ran, like, maybe 30 yards. And then right. you go in, and you look at the bones, and there's fucking KFC bucket right by it, and you're like, right. oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, dude, we oh, did we order you check your Uber Eats history and you're like, dude, we got KFC. Yeah, we had ordered KFC. 
Fuck! It was us all along. We smashed you. <laughs> We're the wolves, man. Oh fuck! Uh, love that chicken and Popeyes. I ate um, the bones. <laughs> I ate, the, I ate bones. the bones. Dude. Oh no! I ate the bones again. That would be a great thing to get super fucking high and just eat the bones. Yeah, dude, I dare you to eat the bones. It's in the commercial. <laughs> for the bit. Just for the bit. Just for the bit. I ate the bones. It's in the commercial. No, he really did. He really did. Try it. You're gonna... Oh, shrooms. Huh. Well, have you guys ever done? Uh, you guys haven't, right? What? Mushrooms. Have you ever tripped on mushrooms? Yeah. No, mm-hmm. sir, I don't like it. Yeah. I'd like to I'd like to do it more. It'd be It'd be cool to go to the desert with you guys and like really get out. You know it. what would be actually very not actually not yeah. what you said. Yeah, mm. not <laughs> not me. You know what would actually you? be really fun. <laughs> but what would be fun would be to take my boat. We go to Catalina. Ooh. We camp in Catalina and we oh, do man. mushrooms that night. When that be that fun, would be, dude. I'm oh, in. I love that idea. I love that idea. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? I'm about to have a child in a month. What makes that <laughs> actually bet? What, what what makes doing it at Catalina outstanding? Eh, just because you're on an island away from everything. The the nature there is extra cool. It's extra yeah. when you look up at the stars there. There's the light pollution's a lot better because you're yeah, yeah, yeah. way out there. Mm-hmm. Nice. It has yeah. its perks. That has you its know perks. the weird thing. It's I've never done shrooms. They also have buffalo. It's wild. I've yeah. never done shrooms, buffalo wings. I've never done shrooms, yeah. but it's mostly, this is how like of a child I am. Cause I just don't like the taste of mushrooms. Yeah. But they got them in gummies. Like when we came back on the train from San Diego, that's when I was just like popping them. Cause I was hungry. Yeah. You could get them on chocolates and stuff, but you still taste it. Like, don't you People? still taste the mushroom? Like, I don't no. even like uh Not what's really. the fancy mushroom that you get on like pasta. Shiitake. And... No, no, no. Like a uh, uh, truffle. Truffle, like truffles, yeah. gross to me. I don't, I don't like truffle oh, much. I don't like truffle either. I'm not really? a fan. No, of dude. It. Yeah, people, people went overboard like with it. the truffle in the truffle era. Yeah, there'd be there'd be lots of truffle. Yeah, it's too much. But but you're not. You're it, these things. These these gummies don't even taste like mushrooms, dude. You. I don't even. People always tell you how gross mushroom. Like it's not that bad. You just fucking. I'm not talking about mushrooms like psychedelic. I'm talking about regular ass mushrooms on a pizza. I'm like. <laughs> Yes, you're talking about shiitake. But, oh, yeah, well, yeah, but then. But also, those are slimy. These are just dry. It's like eating beef jerky that gets you fucked up, kind of. But just mm. eat the ones in the fucking gummies. They taste so yummy. There's that, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's also now you can get it in chocolates and. Yeah, you're. we're past all of that shit. I'm sure your brother has mine, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in yeah, San Diego, has. we got a ton, I remember, and it was like... I did them. Yeah, must be must be nice. Ask your brother. <laughs> it's already, already <laughs> sold them back to a dispensary. Just bags on bags. Well, they're, they're fucking legal up here. I think they're legal, or they're close to legal up here in, in, uh, in Toronto. I like close to legal. I like close to legal. Oh, oh I forgot. Yeah. Well, because you know how like weed was like semi legal for a little bit. I think it's in mm-hmm. that era. I don't. Where it's I'm like not... it's medicinal, and they're like, for yeah. what? And they're like, ah, we don't know. We just are trying to get fucked right. up, and we have to say it's medicinal. In five five months, they're gonna just bust every store that sells it. It's yeah. gonna be raped. Yeah, take all their cash. Yeah, yeah exactly. We know what exactly. they're doing out there. Yeah, Frickin the good old days. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Blake, it's really cool to see the side of you, Blake. Thanks, man. I'm getting super political this year. That's my <laughs> yeah, polychar <laughs> New Year's resolution. Pocha. Did you oh, guys, yeah. Uh, yeah, New Year's just happened. Any? Uh... My resolution is to vote. <laughs> yeah, you've never okay. done that. Not yet, man. It sounds oh, fun. Wow. Honestly, yeah. this is, like to start now. Worst idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Back in the day when it was kind of fun and cool and nobody gave a fuck. Yeah. Now it's like, yeah, but who'd you vote for? Just so I know if you can come in my house or not. Uh, yeah. Right, right. And who did you vote for for city council? Ooh, uh, damn. Right. You actually have to care about shit. Like now that yeah. we're old, we have to like go like, well, who's running the the neighborhood? Dude, it's like homework. Yeah. I fucking hate yeah, it. Yeah, it sucks. No. It sucks caring about stuff. Hate being I hate forty. It. 
Uh, yeah, it sucks. It's the yeah, worst. Forty's the worst. Forty the worst. fucking blows. I hate it. Dude. 40 My body's sucks. falling apart. I've had two surgeries this year. So you are gonna vote, Blake? You are like that's the plan? Yeah, I think I am. I watched the Iowa caucus last night, uh, but I oh. thought it was something else. But I did watch it. <laughs> 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 and, and we're back. <laughs> I thought, like, I, thought I was movie... tuning into something else. You're like, is this the movie Dave? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I thought I was watching <laughs> This Ain't Dave. But I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Dave. It's just people fucking a dead body. Was it Dave the uh, the movie where he's the uh, the president and he's like a lookalike for the president? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of really good presidential movies. That's one of them. First Kid is another. <laughs> First Kid's way up there. Then Bad. I want the Sinbadder interview on Shay Shay. That's what I want. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Sin Sinbad. I was. Dude, I I was watching after Cat. I was like, I gotta watch some Sinbad. And yeah, dude, it's nice. It he it's unbelievable how funny he is about everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, he's underrated. It's crazy. I think he's been kind of lost to the '90s, and I it kind of and sucks. Yes, it's because he didn't keep it going. But I think he's had a lot of health issues. I I just saw some. He did. Well, he's passed away, but yes. No, Sinbad's not dead. Yes, he is. What? I don't know if Sinbad's dead. I don't dead think Sinbad is dead. On no, Durs. I don't think he is either. <sighs> I think Durs, I'm going to default to Durs on this one. I can neither confirm nor deny. I remember there was a scare. No, I do not think he is. Pa- no, he is still alive. Sinbad is 67 years old, still alive. Oops. Okay, Durs, you fucked me. <laughs> he's still alive. God, if he oh Sinbad has died. very much alive. No, you fucked me. Uh, he's uh, <laughs> but he's. I think he's had some health issues. I think he just he had a stroke. Yeah, he did. Uh, he had something going on like a few yes. years ago, right? But he's still alive. He's still one of our best. If you haven't watched yep. any of his movies or stand up, tap in because the guy is a comedy god. It's crazy. Yeah. So he just uh, he announced that he is recovering from a stroke. He had it in 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, that's right. Right. I thought he had some other stuff before that, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was on Sunny. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was. He did he a was. great job on Sunny. Yeah. Yep, they got him. I remember when he was on there. I was like, "Well, it's stuff like this." Okay, well, Eric Griffin. Well, Eric Griffin. We got Eric Griffin. We got Eric Griffin. That like, I guess he's had like a lot of tax <laughs> issues. He owed like two and a half million dollars in personal income tax. He had a chop, yeah. uh, cha- chapter seven uh, bankruptcy. bankruptcy. Sure. By the way, I thought that was chapter 11. Uh, He had to sell like a two and a half acre hilltop home. No, he was chapter seven, dude. What's chapter Uh, seven? I thought it's it's funnier. It's funnier. It's funnier. Chapter 11 is bankruptcy. I don't know what chapter seven is, man. What's chapter two? You never hear about that. It says, well, it's another. It says file for chapter seven bankruptcy. That is Mm. a. Oh, so maybe there's a whole the liquidation under the bankruptcy laws of the U.S. in contrast to bankruptcy under Chapter uh, Eleven, Chapter Eleven, is Thirteen, which govern the 13. process of reorganization, reorganization of debt. Of, yeah, debt. Oh, so and this is why I'm voting. So this is a liquidation, not a reorganization. We're liquefying yeah. this bitch. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. There's a whole book with chapters, I guess, on bankruptcy. Uh, but if Sinbad. And this happened right before he died? Dude, if Sinbad... Durs. He's not dead, you son of a bitch. <laughs> very much alive. Very alive. But if Sinbad uh, can, like, fall to the tax man, we're, yeah. all, we're all right we're there. Fucked. We all got to yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. we keep our taxes uh, fully paid up. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's me, our baby. That's our Truly. message for 2024. Yeah. Um, that's what we're going to leave you with. To <laughs> vote and pay your taxes. I like we, this new pod. Yeah, no, this is good. 2024. Yeah, this is 40. This is 40. <laughs> no points. <laughs> Welcome to This Is Tax Talk. Brought to you by TurboTax. Zero points, pay your taxes. Uh, dude, I would love if we're just sponsored by TurboTax. We just do TurboTax commercials now. Yeah, we do little TurboTax bits. Because <laughs> they're like, they're they're at the age. They're at the age that they yeah. do taxes and they care about taxes. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about stocks. I don't like dude. that shit. None of us would know what the fuck we're talking <laughs> yeah. about. Uh, yeah. The Dow. Dude, the thing about the Dow. It goes up mm. and down. Yeah. More it like does. the down. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess. I'm, jo- I'm jonesing <laughs> for some Dow. Yeah. Uh, how you like me, Dow? Uh, guys. <laughs> you could suck my Maz, yep. Naz deck. Oh, shit. Yeah. Your dick, your deck is Naz. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> fully nasty ass dick. <laughs> Why do my dick is fully nasty? Dude, my dick is nasty. Oh, not good. I got a NASDAQ. Ooh, uh, any damn. take backs, apologies, any epic slams, any. Kyle, uh, you're in the shadows games. over there, uh, literally and figuratively. He does. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, baby. We out here doing that final uh, season. Let me do a quick take back. I want to take back okay. that I said uh, Sinbad was dead. I feel yeah, like yeah. Yeah. I also good might one. have some like. RIP tweets out there then <laughs> yeah you might want to you might want to scan your socials real quick yeah we had to go through that yeah you've been you've been uh giving him flowers for years i also think i cried for weeks so take backs <laughs> yeah shit. Oh, wow. take back the tears. Um, yeah. god he's funny um, but yeah i urge i urge people to just it's on i think i watched it on netflix it's out there just please go watch his specials they are unbelievably funny they're very good very, His thing was like he would like also improv a lot of it. Oh, really? really? Yes. It, yeah, he was like known it. for just like going wildly off the cuff yeah. for like 20 minutes at a time. And yeah. then, wow. And then Miranda his way back to his material mm-hmm. and then just going off. Reading the Miranda rights. Yeah. Those his are his right. Miranda rights. Yeah. His, Miranda his, rights. I like yeah. that. <laughs> Read on. Let's see. Special epic slams. What else is it? Compliments. Take backs. Yeah, compliments. Mm. Did you pull any cat quotes for the board? I I'm still working on that. All right. Cool. This was like a week ago. I'm still working. Yeah. Yeah. Did, right. And so you're. A, I didn't know. <laughs> didn't think about the podcast even a little bit. Uh, you All got. Right. I didn't know if the board was still a thing or if we were cutting the board. I was getting. Uh, oh yeah, the board's a thing. The board's a thing. Yeah. We got. Uh, <laughs> kind of need the board. Hey. Fans, please let us know which <laughs> which, which ones you want to retire, oh, retire yeah. which yep. ones that we, you would like to keep. It's a good one. And uh, maybe we do we go through the board real quick. I just heard a new one, and oh, well, I got to take a piss. So if you want to go through the board, I'm going to go take a piss. Go you the, you're a monster. Okay. From, a from, from you're a monster. Yeah, yeah, we got that. We That's got a great. New... Poop dollar. Yep, we got that one. Oh, that this one Kelsey. from Durs. You need so another four inches. That one's going to hit. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching this fucking commercial where this lady, she's like really good about like fitting things into spaces. And she pulls up to a guy in the parking lot who's trying to like fit a TV in his car. And she goes, you're going to need another four inches. And I was like, pause. <laughs> you need another four inches. Uh, Rewound it. I was like, well, you know, the, the marketing guy who wrote that line was like, oh, God, yeah, I hope they he keep knows. this. Oh, I hope they see. It. This got to go. He goes, this is going to end up on TI High. Yeah. Yeah. Both uh, right? That well, Blake, good. don't show the new one. Show the old one so we know what to do. There's so many, Adam. There's tons. What the, like, you want me to go through? Go through some heavy hitters. Give me a hell yeah. He's the bass. Okie dokie. Oh, righty <laughs> then. Oh, my God. Thank you, God. Okay, let's go. Wow, dude. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I'm so excited. You love it? Perfect. They're all pretty and good. And that's that's w- that's just one pad. I have that's, fucking eight of them. I mean, those are good. hits. <laughs> those are hits. Well, I think you chose the hits. Choose some that aren't. Wow, dude. That that you don't that you think maybe people don't like. <sighs> dude, they're oh, they all You're rock. A stupid <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Bully. Okay. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, the bitch. They're good. <laughs> good, good. It's a bagel. Who cares? Goodbye. Allegedly. Mm-hmm. Hold up. Oh, no one makes you good. Oh, Who are that? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, they're, they're all good. good. good Wait, one, we're going to find some bad ones, please. Yeah, more. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. Yeah. Classic. All right. <laughs> Classic. 69, dudes. Very shagadelic. <laughs> Either you have diarrhea or you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so fucking hungry. Popo <laughs> Sao! <laughs> dude, they're all bangers, Lin- dude. Popo <laughs> Sao is the linchpin that keeps the pod going. Uh, There's oh, gotta wow. be some. There's gotta be some that There's gotta be some that are. <laughs> I, I don't need okay. that one. I'll say that. All right, that, that one, one. That okay. one might be able to That's on the block. it's a little okay. messy. Yeah, it's That's just a little messy. Yeah. All right. Got a lot of white noise in there. <laughs> I'm your friend. That one's too that good. Do you love him? <laughs> I'm a dude. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't stop the music. That's a new one. More? Okay. Freaking see ya. I just want to party. Oh, here we go. Maybe this is really cool. 
That could be on the block, maybe. That could yeah. be on the block. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Well, that could be on the block. Though. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't do it that one. That one was that, I love that one. Yeah? I love that one. Oh, what, I'm going to go viral with this one. <laughs> don't eat that it. One, I don't, don't think you ever it. used that one. Yeah. Oh, it, or this I one. I am so glad that I'm able to control my penis now. <laughs> yeah, that one's great. <laughs> yeah, but it's long. It's long. Yeah, <laughs> but oof. When we it gives us time to take a sip of our drink. Adam, you gotta remember these are not just I know. These are I tools. Know. These are tools. All right. That's hey, a... so maybe I I may maybe I take it back and uh, we keep everything uh, okay. and just keep adding All right. on. But there's gotta be more. Okay. There's, there's got gotta there's be more. Hey, you know, there. let's do let's save a little bit for the next pod. Okay. You know, let's, <laughs> let's we, draw let's leave. draw this one out, baby. <laughs> we found two. We found two that don't need you got it. it. Yeah. This is hey, as Kyle said earlier, I drew the line. All right. There you and go. You done. draw a line. Absolutely. I can't draw line. back. I drew and what does that mean again exactly? <laughs> Dude, I drew a line. Yeah, yeah, you draw a line, man. And once the line is drawn, yeah. you, know, you fucking can't step so over it. You can't. There's lines you can't change it. Yeah, so lines drawn. Right. There's a line. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Uh, so I would like to give uh, compliments to you guys for yeah. a yeah. hell of a tour, yeah. making it to the very end of the year. Mm. And we did strong it. in Omaha. Sorry, uh, uh, shout out to you guys. Shout out to uh, all the fans that came out to, to mm-hmm. TII Nation, showing us love and support. And um, we we love doing it. We love doing yeah. the podcast. And it was a blast. And man, what a ride that was. Wild. I would like to cherry pip. Yeah, and if you hated listening to the pod while we were doing it live, we're back yeah. here in house. It's different. Yeah, different yeah. speed. Stop crying about it, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hey, we're back. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah. You yes. can see our faces again. Uh, <laughs> I also uh, I would love to cherry pick just a handful of dates in okay. next year, and so yeah. like do it, but like as Jer said, not a whole tour. Because we no, no. now now we're back, the strike's over. We're all getting yeah. back to work. We're going to be doing things, but just going like, hey, maybe uh, we're going to Vegas for a weekend. Right. The, the Cat Williams and me just. I don't know if I can be professional that long. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I started Durf turning. You know me. I started time. turning into a little Cat Williams. Yeah. He was getting <laughs> a little do. cat. He's a cat at yeah. uh-huh. Right at the. He yeah. got a little catatonic. Yeah. That's very funny. Yeah, Point. Yes, points. Yeah. The, the claws came <laughs> out for Durs towards the end, so he got a little cat in him. You got a little, he's our little cat, <laughs> cat daddy. I think New York exhausted me. I was doing all the press yeah. and shit during the day, and then that's true. You had to get your like, Godzilla yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Hey, keep Monarchs, watching. Keep Legacy watching Monarch. Of- we got one more episode uh, on. Yeah, baby. Monarch Legacy of Monsters. It's on Apple TV Plus. My boy, looking real good. Looking. That's, that's the sexiest I've ever seen. Durs was shooting that show. I will say that if anyone Miami. puts a bunch of rope around your shoulder, you're hotter. You look better. It's just yeah, automatic. I've, nope. got a, I've got a thing for guys with lassos. <laughs> All right. That's been established. Uh, was that another episode? Uh, that was uh, another, another episode of This is Important. I got a thing with guys with lassos. And it's been a while